you wonderful people. Today we're going to be talking about powers of 10, which is another part of our lesson when it comes to exponents. When we're talking about powers of 10, the base is 10 and the exponent is 0, 1, 2, 3, or negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on and so forth. But when we're talking about powers of 10, the base is 10. There's a pattern that you can see develop when it comes to powers of 10. So let's see if you can discover it. So let's get rid of this 10 that's on the screen and see if we can find our pattern. So let's say I have 10 to the 0 power. Well, this is called the exponent rule of 0, right? We kind of discussed this before. Any number to the 0 power is 1. Well, let's look out 10 to the 1. Well, any number to the first power is just itself in expanded form and itself, itself in standard form. Let's look at 10 squared. Well, 10 squared is 10 times 10 expanded or 100. Let's look at 10 to the third power, which is 10 times 10 times 10 which in our calculator would be 1,000. Let's look at 10 to the fourth power, which is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or 10,000. So at this point, you should kind of be able to see a pattern, right? 10 to the 0, I have a 1 and then no 0, right? Nothing else, I just have 1. 10 to the first power, I have a 1 and 1, 0. 10 to the second power, I have a 1 and 2 zeros. 10 to the third power, I have a 1 and 3 zeros. So 10 to the fourth power, I have a 1 and 4 zeros, right? So let's see, what would 10 to the eighth power be? Well, 10 to the eighth power would be a 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros, right? Or 100 million. So with powers of 10, the exponent tells you how many zeros go after the 1. The same is true, or mm, the same is true for negative exponents, except now we're going to take the reciprocal of the positive number. So let's see. 10 to the negative 1 is 1 tenth, which is 1 over 10. 10 to the negative 2 is 1 tenth times 1 tenth. Remember, negative exponents don't make negative numbers. They make small numbers, which is 1 hundredth. Let's move this down because I'm writing so big. 10 to the negative 3 is 1 tenth times one tenth times one tenth again positive numbers but little numbers which is one over a thousand right so it follows the same pattern but now we're talking about reciprocals right so instead of 10 to the 1 being 10 10 to the negative 1 is one tenth reciprocal just as a fancy word for flip so what would 10 to the negative fourth be what would be one tenth times one tenth times one tenth times one tenth or one over ten thousand, right? And so on and so forth. So with negative powers of ten, again, we have positive numbers, but they just get smaller and smaller and smaller the bigger that negative exponent becomes. Well, technically, the smaller that negative exponent becomes if we're actually talking mathematically speaking. So if you have any questions, let me know. But remember to follow the rules of powers of 10. The exponent tells you how many zeros after the 1. If it's positive, it's going to be a big number. If it's a negative exponent, it's going to be a small number. All right, talk to you later. Bye.